look around, you guys. This was your first home, and it was a happy place, filled with love and laughter. But more important, because of rent control, it was a friggin' steal. <laughs> This cast, in these roles, and the collaborative spirit uh, that the writers kind of invited, where we all were, you know, playing at the same level, like the highest level, I think, uh, in terms of sitcom that, that we could play at, um, I think was just the dream, a dream come true for all of us. And we, I think we all realized it really early on. Okay, should we get some coffee? Sure. Where? It's so nice to see you guys together. Nice to see nice you. To see We're you. happy to be together. Hi there. Hiya. Hi. How are you? Good, uh, what's, how are you? what's in the drawer behind you? Oh, I'm like in some bedroom in Florida. Just don't even look at it. Please me. open the drawer for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I can't stop thinking about what's in the drawer behind you. <laughs> it's my daughter's like clothes on vacation. Thank you. That's all. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. okay, we're gonna go fast and this is like fast and furious. So, tell me between now and when the finale aired, when would you say you were most grateful to be friends with each other? Lunchtime. Is that what you mean? <laughs> you mean all the every. By the way, it's a really good Upon answer. Upon waking up? <laughs> we ate lunch together every day, the three of us. Yes. So that, that well, made it yeah. great. So th there was never a time that went, okay, you're wrapped for the day, or you're, no, well, maybe for the day, but we never went off our separate ways. We always wanted to hang, and that made 10 years incredible. Wow, that's an interesting question. Um, I think over the years, we've, we've all struggled with different obstacles and, and challenges, and I think in those times, it's been nice to be able to reach out and and touch base and have a call. And I mean, I'm speaking for myself because I I'm the only one that doesn't live in California. I live in New York, um, so that's been that's been nice. While being a really close knit group, we don't see each other all six of us a lot. We've only been together once, I believe, nine years ago, in the same room be, until until yesterday. Um, so in the 17 years since we wrapped, we've seen each other like, you know, one or two people or I know the girls get together often, but, um, but yeah, we, we, the whole, the whole cast hasn't been together in quite some time. But it's funny, when we do get together, it's, it's like no time has passed. And I mean, I think everybody sort of has a relationship like that in their life. We get together and it's like, you pick up right where we left off and, and you know that if you, when you have a conversation with that person, it's really heartfelt, it's honest, it's open, it is like a, just an open dialogue, a communication, you know that there's no ulterior motive, there's no, it's really, there's significant relationships. Yeah, Steve is right, it's, um, <laughs> it's really. <laughs> but then so when the finale aired, yeah. between oh. you and now, that's what she meant. when would you say over that amount of time, when were you guys most grateful to be in each other's lives still? I, uh, every day since. Yeah. It's still to me one of the greatest um, jobs I've ever had. Courtney and Lisa? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if they were like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're so grateful. And these friendships right here have remained just as close and supportive. And yeah, it goes so beyond the work and what the show was, which was in and of itself just a spectacular phenomenon. But the friendships slash family that came out of it, is just, uh, you know, you can't put words to that really. It's priceless. Sure. What would you say is your favorite thing you stole from the set? A dress that Monica wore that I went into her line of clothes and I put, pulled it out and I still have it and wear it to this day. Do you still have <laughs> it? Yes, I do, and, and I still, still wear, wear it, it and it fits. Please yeah. show it to me. It's a little lace, it's a floral, tiny little flowers with a black lace v-neck and little, a little like, what is those sleeves no. called where they're and then, and then it has a black cap lace sleeve. cap sleeve, but like a little slight ruffle. It's probably gone in and black out of style lace. like four times. Oh, and it will always be in style. <laughs> I stole an I Love Friends license plate frame and put it on Schwimmer's car, and it took him a week to realize. 
Do you remember that? <laughs> did you? Yes, that was me. <laughs> what did you steal? I didn't steal anything. You did. You Phoebe loved did. Phoebe's clothes. Lisa, you you really loved her you clothes. I, I, I didn't had, take I anything. You did take I, Phoebe rings. Yeah. That's I, an actual Phoebe ring. you also ring. took I the cookie jar. Phoebe ring. No, it was given to me, the cookie jar. Oh, okay. From Matthew gave Matthew it Perry. Oh, sweet. What he, he stole it then. He asked permission. Okay. Yeah. I stole the cookie jar that had the clock on it and I gave it to Lisa Kudrow because she one point looked at it and thought it was a real clock and I gave it to her. I didn't take anything, did I? No. I well, so. we weren't allowed to. You didn't to. want to because you, you actually said, I'm not sentimental that way. Uh, you know what's bad? <laughs> because if that... you did take it, it would have been given away by now. Like yeah, I, I, I'm not a person that collects things and then now I regret. Now you're gonna become a hoarder. I'm gonna actually go steal something You're gonna tonight. become a hoarder like nobody's business. I still have my badges, my security badge. Oh, okay, yeah. You do not. Yes, I do. <laughs> More importantly, you have apples. No! Are you serious? Stop yeah. it! Yeah, I just found him. I don't throw any, I'm a hoarder. I love it. Oh yeah, I'm not that kind of person. Wait, did we have security badges? Yes, yeah, we had to. Did. How did they let me on? I don't think I ever had yes, one. Yes, you did have. <laughs> you did. That's I'm, adorable. I'm, that's that so hilarious? cute. I just stole a little placard. I think it was Professor Geller placard from my office uh, at, at the museum. Nothing. That and the couch. But uh, <laughs> that's. How would you guys describe the three of your your chemistry between the three of you? Don't know how to describe it. Yeah. Easy. I don't know. Per, yeah. Like just it's easy. really easy. It's really yeah. honest and it's really open. Family. It's like yeah. family. It's like yeah. it's, it's. I don't have sisters. It's what I would assume sisters are like. Like Funny. siblings, I would say. Yeah. 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 Really like siblings. Very supportive. There's very under... very very sexual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the core. Yeah. At, at its core. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and even if it's not like every, like I know you guys talk a lot, like uh, if not every day, close, right? But I know that I can text or call, and I still all the time am connected. We don't talk. Do you know every what I mean? Day. We don't talk every day, but we but, see each other more because yeah, yeah you're you know married and, family. and yeah. But I'm just but but, <laughs> but you pick up. I mean, listen, yeah, I feel like you're I, welcome to come. To, I feel we, like you we know. can like pick up. Yeah. You know. Yes. Of course, right, yeah. Where we left off, and it, like no time's passed. Yeah. It's okay. We're we're connected, no matter what. That's no so matter true. what, till death do us part. That's true. Very true.